Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. The sell-off and the selling and the price drops, the market crash is just continuing. People are continuing to sell cards as this Foot Player Days promo ends and as the team of the season hype builds. All we're seeing is prices just continually drop on the market on most cards in this game now of course yesterday was the very last day of two for one packs which they did release for the very last time as this foot player days promo ends today at 6 p.m so the six the year the 81 plus player picks those are going away at 6 p.m today the 85 times five and some of your other sbcs that have come out during this promotion are going away specifically some of your um showdowns as well carrera and taliso you only have 12 more hours to do this sbc of course with that Champions League game between PSG and Bayern Munich being, to, being today uh, in the afternoon. So that's going to be a good game to kind of keep an eye on today. Of course, we have Champions League that is back. So again, I'm just going to talk about why this market is continuing to go down. I thought there was going to be a chance that some of this stuff bounces back. And I still am holding on to a slim little bit of hope for that. If you haven't sold yet, something still could rebound back slightly in the next you know day or so if we don't get any content today. So I'll talk about that in a little bit, but a lot of the stuff just continues to drop because people are selling cards at a crazy rate, and I'm seeing some of these prices. Of course, um, th these cards are dropping like crazy. Team of the Year Messi is 2.8 million coins, which is wild. Seeing some of these price drops is nuts, um, specifically on the high tier range, and that's what I'm going to talk a lot about today is that high tier range is really getting sold off. Look at this Mbappe, 5.2 mil for this Mbappe card, who was literally almost, he was 6.1 million coins literally four days ago. And now he's down almost a million coins to 5.2. Crazy drop-offs on these cards, specifically the high tier, right? Bruno Fernandez, 2.49 mil. This guy was basically 3 million coins um, on the weekend. And now he's down to 2.4, which it's crazy, right? Huge, huge, huge drop-offs on these big-time cards. Davies is down 150K. Van Dyke is down almost 400,000 coins. De Bruyne is down a bunch. Uh, Ramos is down 200K. So it's really crazy to see a lot of these team of the years drop so much in price. Messi as well, 289. But that's what we talked about in the last video that we posted, right? Is that people sell this stuff because, again, team of the season is bringing cards onto the market that are... You know, they're supplied. They honestly are probably going to have better stats. We had not a single 99 rated card in team of the year this year. Not even Messi or Ronaldo got 99s. They're going to bring out the 99s during team of the season, in my opinion. So this panic selling is warranted in, in my mind. But um, it's just crazy to see in, in that we don't have any official legit loading screens or anything like that. It's all based on hype and a time of the year that team of the year is coming. So that is what we are continuing to see. Now, again, in yesterday's video, I did mention I thought some of the stuff could bounce back a little bit. As it is always with panic selling, you're going to see some fluctuations, right? And that's kind of what I was alluding to with some of the stuff. Like Alfonso Davies and Fulpin was 1.14. Right now, he's 1195. Not saying that that's like a fluctuation that you could actually trade with. Um, but of course, I've seen some fluctuation today that I've been able to trade with. I didn't really buy any cards that much yesterday, um, but I did snag myself two Figos in the low 300 range. One sold overnight at 350 and the other one sold at 337. So, you know, we're chilling here with like 40,000, maybe, yeah, 40,000 coins or so of profit after tax on these two cards. And, um, you know, that's like a, a good fluctuation that you can still trade with. People are still buying some of these icons that link the Renato Sanchez, of course, since this foot player days promo had that 81 plus packs that were out, people were doing SBCs and that kind of hype around the whole, you know, do the 81 plus picks before team of the season or stack up 81 plus is for team of the season coming soon and do these icon or the um, foot birthday SBCs that are still available. That kind of hype and that coin drain is going to end today. Now, also, the two for one packs are going to be ending. So you're not going to see the daily fluctuations on fodder that you have been seeing. Let's talk about fodder for a second, man, because this is actually pretty nuts. Every single day, the past couple days, this is how it has looked. The index 86 right before content drop on Monday, 361 points. We get two for one packs. I don't know if people weren't expecting two for one packs or if they thought that we were going to get some sort of icon SBC. 
But for the past three or four days, every single day, fodder drops right after 6 p.m. for like an hour or two, and then people buy it right back up into the next day because a new rumor comes out or a new leak comes out that we're gonna get some sort of icon SBC or just the hype builds. So literally every single day for the past like three or four days, You've been able to buy fodder with the supply from the two for one packs coming in, as well as people selling it, the stuff that they, people that invested before 6 p.m. selling it at a loss. Uh, and then it gets really low and it rebounds back up, right? It's happened again yesterday and it's rising back up into today. So it's just, again, people are going out and buying fodder just purely based off of speculation. But fodder is really low, right? Fodder is pretty cheap. A lot of your high level icon SBCs are going to be cheaper to complete right now because this fodder is low. Um, and could they drop something today? You know, that'd be a super EA thing to do. It really would for them to end the foot player days promo, no pack supply, all that hype is gone for, you know, SBC fodder being supplied. Boom, they drop an icon SBC that is out for the next week and a half until we actually get team of the season. So that could be something I still think could happen, right? Whether it's another party bag SBC, some other type of upgrade pack, or a icon SBC, I still feel like there are going to be some fodder movements when we do get an SBC like that because I think EA is going to try to put something in around along those lines to coin drain pre team of the season. I just I feel like that's going to happen. They do it all the time. I feel like it's going to be no different. But uh, of course, these encore players, the cards that were released back into packs, are going to be leaving packs today. Um, I did buy a Virgil Van Dyke because I saw his graphs. And I was seeing that this card was really fluctuating a lot every single day with a two for one pack supply. Now I bought only one of them. I should have bought more, uh, but I bought one at 300,000 coins earlier today, which is where he was at, at his lowest. Basically he's rebounded back up to about 330 already. So a nice little bit of profit there. Some other of these cards have rebounded too, right? Like um, Eden Hazard, I believe was down almost at 600,000 coins. And I think He's up in the 700s now. I've seen Kamavinga, who was down at like 680, who is now over 720. So yeah, wow, people really bought up this Eden Hazard today. So GG's if you got in on any of these cards. Um, I think, yes, they just got supplied a lot, and that means they have a lot more, of course, listings and more cards available on this game. Um, but I'm seeing these prices start to, prices start to rise up because a lot of people are looking at these cards and thinking, man. Uh, this guy used to be 1.2 million coins, and now you're telling me he's 700k? I'm going to go give him a shot, or I'm going to add him into my team and see how he plays. But yeah, I think that's why you're seeing some of these cards rise up. People are expecting maybe a, a, a short rise out of packs on these uh, foot encore squad players, like the Messi team of the Group Stage has, has started to go back up. The Teo Hernandez headliner card, which was like um, 400,000 coins flat, I think, at his absolute low. Pretty sure now he's up like 30,000 coins. Yeah, he's like 430, 428K. So you've started to see a nice little bit of rise on these cards that were reintroduced back in packs because they've just gotten low and, and people are like, hey, I'm either going to invest in these trying to make coins uh, or I'm going to put it in my team because those are some pretty cheap prices. Alan saying Maxman, I think, was down at like 350. He's 370 right now. So that's started to just go up a little bit on its own too. That's kind of an interesting thing to watch and we'll see what happens with that. Since there is a lot of panic selling still going on, I'm really interested to see where those cards go. Now, another area of the market where a lot of stuff is dropping is the icon moments. And if I'm looking through a lot of these prices, uh, it's crazy. Cantona is 3.4. Pushkas is 3.7. He was over 4 mil on the weekend, I believe. Henri was 3.4, 3.3. He's now 3.0. Um, Rio was 2.5. He's now 2.2. Uh, you've got Desai, who was like one, it's like 2.0, 2.1 mil on the weekend. He's now at 1.69. So a lot of these high tier cards are the ones that are dropping the most right now. People are just selling them in preparation for team of the season, which is gonna bring a lot of hype towards the new high tier cards and stuff like that. So today on Tuesday, I mean, I don't really know what's gonna be dropping for content today. It could be anything. It really could be anything. We are out of a promo now. We've had these showdown SBCs, the first of them, the game is gonna be on today. So we're of course gonna have a lot of eyes on PSG uh, versus, versus Bayern Munich because that's, you know, it's as FIFA implications as well. So that's going to be very, very fun and interesting to watch. Uh, but if you bought any of that fodder during this last set of the uh, two for one packs 
earlier yesterday, I think he might be in for uh, for some good money if they would release some sort of party bag. I think a party bag I would see as more likely of an SBC today than some sort of like icon upgrade. Uh, but we'll see what EA has up their sleeve for today on a Tuesday since yesterday on Monday was pretty much a non-content day. Now, let me check the Alfonso Davies and the Alaba road to the finals because I wonder if these are rising at all into the games. Now, Alfonso Davies was like 600K flat earlier today, which right now it looks like, wow, he is 586. So this card is still pretty low. Um, I think you'll see these cards rise up a little bit pre-game. Now, I have an Al I have a, not an Alaba, but I have a Davies. How much is Alaba? 380? 390? All right, so these cards are still kind of where they're at. Still kind of low, right? I'm surprised they haven't risen up as much uh, into the pre-game. But of course, if Byron score a goal, I'm probably going to be holding on to those because I think Byron's going to uh, potentially come back here and uh, maybe win that game. But Gabriel Jesus, how much is this guy? He's 810K, so this is up from where I got him. Those are for the Wednesday games. But of course, watch those road to the finals because there's going to be a lot of fluctuations with those. And if you do want to trade right now, like again, there's going to be fluctuations on this market. Like I was showing you with that Figo card, right? Or if you look at some of these birthdays, there's going to be fluctuations that you can trade with. Pick the meta ones, the ones that are rare, the ones that players in FIFA have been using recently. The what-if cards fluctuate a ton, man. These guys are actually really nuts to trade with. Thalvin's 240,000 coins. I bought a Thalvin earlier tonight at 216 or 217. He was low. Uh, he was down here, right? He was down here at 211,000 coins. I think I bought one of them, and he's back up to 240, right? So you're going to see fluctuations like that. Those are the types of things that I would be trading with right now. Regulon, I think, was like 200 lows at some point yesterday as well. This is probably going to get hit a high of like 230K overnight. Yeah, he was down at 209, 205 on the Xbox, and he's back up to almost 220 on the Xbox, and he's 225 on the PlayStation. So you're going to have fluctuations like this on some of these cards that are going to be profitable. And if you're going to try to trade right now, I think that... And the icons, babies and mid icons are going to be the place to go. Conte for 950. You know, I might have to snag that because that's pretty cheap. I probably could sell this at like 1.02 or 1.03. Hopefully like 1.04. Wow, he's been down in the 950s, 940s. There's a crazy low bid. That's another thing, right? When the market is like this, get on the bids because less people are going to be on the game looking to try to buy cards and snipe them. As people are like selling cards and panic selling ahead of this big promo and like preparing their teams and rocking untradeable stuff, uh, there's just not as many eyes on the market. So, yo, look at these bids, man, on this content card, 858 and 859 at two times, two different times during the day. That's actually really crazy. So I would keep an eye on some of this rare out of pack stuff for sure, because you're still going to be able to trade, right? And that's what we're going to be doing on stream Today, with like Champions League and stuff, we'll be keeping an eye on it, of course. If I saw lower than 950, I'd be very tempted. There's a one mil card overnight, so maybe I won't end up buying that Conte to flip. But, you know, even like this Socrates card, there's still a decent amount of hype for the Nerez links. So, this guy was under 300k earlier today. So, if I could snag like a 275 or 280 there, I'd love that. How much is this Kaka? Is he like 1.0 something? Yeah. All right. That one's kind of tricky because a lot of people, when a card is just over a million coins, they don't like to list for under a mil and break that mil threshold. Um, so it's kind of hard to find deals on cards like that. And then some of your other rare headliners out of pack stuff. This guy's what, 390? Like you could very easily see an open bid at, and then try to get it get this at 350 and then sell it at 390. Um, or maybe like this. I'm actually losing on a Lucas Moore right now that I was not able to flip when he was a lot higher in price. This Kane card is 690. Wow, that's so low for this Kane, man. It's crazy. How much is Fatih? Wow, the high tier, man. The high tier is really just getting destroyed. People are really, really selling off the most expensive high tier cards in this game. I think it's really just because um, people know that these tots are coming out and they want to get coins for that. Wow, that's in that's insane, honestly. Uh, this Salah is in the 1-2 lows. He's actually rebounded back up like 70K. So that's a GG's. Um, but yeah, boys, I don't really know what's going to be happening today on Tuesday. It really could be anything, right? It's up to EA Sports. They're obviously in control. But Foot Player Days is ending. Um, and we should be seeing the the last of two for one packs was yesterday. Shouldn't have any more SBCs. The 81 plus player pick is, is going away as well. So if there is going to be any sort of small rebound in the market, if there's no content today and it's all just based on the Champions League, 
uh, game that is being on or those games, then potentially it'll just be that kind of hype. Maybe the road to the finals will move. Uh, but of course, EA Sports probably going to be more hype around a um, another Icon SBC coming today as fodder is already starting to rise back up. Like again, look at the index 86. We already saw this, right? The index 86 is jumping up. And then I don't know who has a leak for 84s or for a party bag or something because 84s just jumped in the last couple hours, like big time when I'm recording this. So Maybe we will see some sort of like party bag today. I don't think there's a guaranteed foot birthday or anything like that in the code. Um, but this is a huge jump on 84s going from 318 points on the index down to 280 and then all the way back up to 306. So maybe there's somebody has some inside information there. But we're just kind of now playing the waiting game, right? It just feels like we're playing the waiting game. People are selling cards. They're going untradeable. They're getting their coins up in the top left, just ready for team of the season, which is going to be coming out in like 10 days if those leaked dates are correct. So that's why we're seeing the market drop. People are just starting to prepare and sell cards because they know that this market is going to continue dropping um, unless there's like nothing that happens. And then people are going to be so bored, they're going to go buy cards to play Weekend League. So we'll see what happens for the rest of this week uh, if we get some sort of loading screen on Friday and all that jazz. But as of right now, it's just all about more selling and, uh, you know, maybe a small rebound today. More fluctuations for sure. If you want to try to trade in this market, bids and rare cards are going to be your best friend. So that is what I would recommend. And then we'll see if EA drops some sort of big SBC to take coins off of this game um as we head towards team of the season one last big coin drain potentially so last time they dropped an icon spc a couple days after that foot player days promo ended um but this is obviously a different time of the year we'll see if they do that again today or tomorrow or on thursday or whatever it may be but that's kind of the video for me uh for me today man it just keeps dropping so if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace